Hello everybody, this is Mr. Preston. Hope you're doing well and you're safe and at home. Um, we're going to be working on the D major round today, but before we do that, I'd like to introduce my mom. She's Hi. going she's uh she's going to help us out with some harmony today, so that will be that would be fun. So first let's get our instruments up, make sure our feet are flat on the floor, whether we are sitting or standing. Keep your wrists nice and round. We're going to start on our open D string, and I want you to repeat after me. With me, ready, and here we go. New pattern, listen, wait, and listen. One, two, with me, and go. When you play that pattern, make sure your left wrist is straight. You keep a nice round C shape with your fingers and your wrist. Here's a new pattern. One, two, ready and go. Nice. Now we're going to go to our A string. Everybody on your A string, and this is first finger on the G string for basses, but open A for everybody else. Repeat after me. One, two, ready, and go. Let's do a bow hold check real quick. Okay, finger by finger. Index finger hanging over the stick, middle and ring finger hanging over the frog. Keep some space between your fingers. Violins, violas, pinky on top of the stick, cellos and basses, pinky hanging over, and make a little doorbell sound with me. Ding dong, ding dong. That's right, you wanna keep your, your thumb nice and bent, everybody. Let's check that bow hole. Can you stir some soup with me? Mom, what's in our soup today? Beans. Beans and carrots. I will add some chicken broth into that. Beans, carrots, and chicken broth. Ooh, let's go down the elevator, up the elevator, down and up. Wipe your windshield. And rocket ship. Three, two, one. Pshh. Count off with me. Three, two, one. Pshh. Good. Back to your A string. Here we go. Nice, relaxed bow hold, no tension in your hand. A string, repeat after me. One, two, ready, and go. Very nice. Do that pattern with me again. Make sure you're keeping your bow straight and you're playing from your frog to your tip. Let's do that pattern again on the A string. One, two, ready, and go. Very nice. Now we're going to play that same pattern backwards. So start on high D and then we're going to come down the scale. Okay, starting with high D. One, two, ready, and go. Check your bow hold. Make sure it's nice and relaxed. Now tilt over to your D string. This is G. All right, here we go. Ready, and two, and three, and go. Now let's start at the top of the scale and we're going to start on high D and then we're going to come down all the way to open D, all right? And this is, um, that G I mentioned is open G for basses, but third finger for violins and violas, fourth finger for cello, okay? Here we go, let's come down the scale. One, two, three, and go. Very 
very nice. There's one spot of the scale we want to make sure that we don't slow down or miss a note. For violins, cellos, and violas, it's when we go from our open A to third finger G. If you keep your fingers close to the string, you will have no problem with putting your finger down in time. But if your fingers are too high, they might not land in the right spot. Repeat after me. A, A, G, G, with me, ready, and here we go. Do it again, and here we go. One more time, and here we go. There you go. Now we're going to play the whole D major pattern, going up the scale and going back down. Remember, we're only going to play two high Ds. So a quick check, make sure your wrist is nice and relaxed. We're using the tip of our fingers to touch the string and keep an eye on your bow hold, nice and relaxed. All fingers curved, especially your thumb, pinky on top, violins and violas hanging over cellos and basses, nice and relaxed, and full bows for all to tip. This is the D major round. Here we go. One, two, three, and go. Good. Let's do that one more time. Make sure you're using a full bow. Stay nice and relaxed. And let's all make sure that whether you're sitting or standing, you're nice and tall. Let's do that one more time. One, two, ready, and go. It's time to add some harmony and play this D major scale as a round. So I'm going to have my mom start and she's going to play D, D, E, E. And when she plays the fifth note, the F sharp, I'm going to come in and play open D, All right? So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. You can try playing along with us or you can just listen. Okay, so my mom is going to start on the scale and then I'm going to come back in. Okay, here we go. Remember, you're going to come in when she plays F sharp. You're going to come in with open D, which is what I will do. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, and go. Now, she is. Uh, she did a wonderful job with that. Let's all give her a hand. Good. And one thing I didn't mention is when you finish the scale, say that you started the scale, you'll just keep playing open D over and over again until you're done. Okay? So now we're going to flip it. I'm going to start the scale, and she is going to come in um, with her D when I play the F sharp. All right, and you can choose either one. You can start the scale with me or you can come in when my mom does, all right? Again, make sure you're standing nice and tall, nice round wrist, fingers right on top of the string. Give your bow hold a check. Give your soup one good stir. Okay, here we go. Whenever you're ready, mom. One, two, ready, and go. Oh, 
I'm starting, my bad, my bad. One, two, ready, and go. Very nice, very nice. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that round. You can rewind this video as many times as you would like and play along. I hope you have a good rest of your week, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, String Project families. I hope you're doing well. I'm Mr. Preston. hope you're safe and at home and staying clean. Um, we are going to be talking about right hand dexterity, um, how we can be controlling with our bow while also being free of tension and feeling good while we play our instrument. So first what I would like for us to do is to make sure we're standing tall, okay? Keep your wrists nice and round, good C shape, right? And we're only going to use open strings for this lesson, okay? only open strings. So let's start with open D and we are going to play a whole note. A whole note looks like this. You have your nice round circle and you're going to get four beats for a whole note. Okay. So let's play four beats on a down bow and four beats on an up bow. Open D. One, two, Three, four. Good. I want you to watch my bow angle when I play this, and I'm going to work to keep it as straight as I can between the frog and, oh sorry, between the bridge and the fingerboard, and that will give us the best sound. Okay, can you do that with me? Again, whole notes. One, two, Three, and go. Good, let's do a bow hold check. Index finger hanging right over the stick. Index finger right over the stick. Let's have our middle finger and ring hanging right over the frog. Pinky on top, violins and violas, cellos and basses hanging over the stick. And thumb. Make sure that stays nice and curved, everybody. All right. Now, we, we talk about how fast our bow should move. It's going to move faster for our quicker rhythms and slower for our slower rhythms. A whole note is four beats, so we want to use a slow bow, a slow bow when we're playing. Now we're going to move to another rhythm. This right here. Now, what has changed from the whole note? Let's look here. We now have a stem, okay, that's going on the right side of the note. And then we have a dot right here. So this is a dotted half note. A dotted half note gets three beats, okay? So our bow is going to move a little faster than it did with the whole notes. So let's play two dotted half notes, three beats each. Here we go. Check your bow hold. Make sure you're still nice and tall. Open D, two dotted half notes. One, two, three. Do that again, make sure you're keeping a straight bow angle, nice and slow, and give three full beats. One, two, and go. One, two, three. One, two. Now, sometimes we notice in our sound that we may not be getting the cleanest sound that we want, okay? And that has to do with how we're using our bow. Um, one, one area of focus with this is arm weight. So, I'll do this for me. Take your bow, you can put it on your stick. And stick your arm out like this. 
and I just want you to let it go. Don't, don't swing your arm down, but just let it go. Ready and drop. Do it again. Do you feel how that weight is just being let go and it falls onto your side, onto your leg? And when that weight falls naturally, it just falls right down. This is what we want to do with our bow going into the instrument. We don't want to press. That's not a very good sound. And we don't want to be too light. Because then we get a wispy sound. So we get our best sound when we just drop. We just drop our arm into the string. Everybody try that with me. Just hear that sound of dropping your arm weight into the string. You're not pushing. You're just letting your arm weight go. Okay? Now drop it in and pull a fast bow on D. Ready? Go. Ooh, do that again. Nice sound. Drop the arm weight. Ready? Go. That's right. And you want to keep that weight into the string when you go out to the tip. Repeat after me. This is two whole notes. One, two, do it with me. One, two, ready, and go. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Two dotted half notes. One, two, ready, and go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Very nice. Now, let's move on to our next rhythm. We now have a half note. Right, so we had four beats, three beats, and two beats. Half note gets two beats. We're still going to use our entire bow when we play a half note for two beats. Repeat after, or play with me. This is half notes. Let's play four of them. Four half notes. One, two, ready, and go. Yes, yeah, so you see we have to move our bow faster in order to play two beats and to be in time. Let's do the same pattern again. Keep that weight into the string. Good bow hold. Frog to tip. One, two, ready, and go. Very nice. Feel free to rewind at any point if you want to do some of these again. Okay, now we have, we've circled in. We have circled in. So this is a quarter note. Each one gets a single beat. All right, so quarter note is one beat. We need to move our bow twice as fast as we did with the half notes, okay? So let's play four quarter notes. Make sure you're still going frog to tip. Open D. One, two, Ready and go. One, two, again and go. You might be having trouble getting frog to tip on a quarter note when it's this fast. Let's try it slower. One, two, three, four. Again, full bow, ready, here we go. Now a little faster, ready, go. Again, full bow, ready, and go. There you go. Go ahead and roll your shoulders with me. Mm -hmm. Twist your neck around. Let's be nice and loose. Go the other way. Now say, woo! 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 Ba! All right, shake it out, shake it out. Now, last rhythm. Last rhythm we have here. This is an eighth note. Now, one eighth note by itself looks just like a quarter note circled in, but it has a little flag right here. You see that flag? Mm-hmm. That's what a single eighth note looks like. But usually, you're going to play two eighth notes at a time. 
and two eighth notes together look like this. You have your little you have your little bracket right here that connects the two eighth notes. All right? So let's play mm, four eighth notes. Now, this is the only rhythm where you don't have to use your full bow, but you're going to use half of your bow. All right? So you're going to start at the frog, play to the middle, and go back to the frog. Okay? This is four eighth notes. Play with me. One and two and three and four and. Mm -hmm. So they're very quick. Frog to tip. Keep that bow hold nice and relaxed. Let's do it again. One and two and three and go. Do it again. Do it again. One more time. Good. Let's do eight eighth notes. Right? Eight eighth notes. Still frog to tip. One. Oh, make sure you're sitting tall, sitting or standing nice and tall. Here we go. Eight eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. One more time. Ready? Here we go. Very good. Now that we've been through all of the rhythms, let's make some patterns for ourselves to play. All right, let's go now to the open A string, and we're going to play, well, why don't I play a pattern and you play it back to me? One, two, open A, go. This was four half notes. Go ahead and play that with me on open A. One, two, three, and go. Very good. Now let's play another pattern. Listen first. That was four quarter notes and two half notes. Do that with me. One, two, open A and go. Good. Let's do another pattern. Make sure that you're keeping your bow right in between the bridge and the fingerboard. Full bows on everything but eighth notes. Here's another pattern. That was a that was two dotted half notes, three quarter notes, and a dotted half note. Do that with me. One, two, and go. Good, another pattern. Let's go back to open D, open D. One, two, ready, and go. That was a whole note two quarter notes, and a half note. Do that with me on open D. One, two, ready, and go. Good, let's do another pattern on open D again. That was two quarter notes, Four eighth notes, two quarter notes, and a half note. Try that with me. One, two, ready, and go. All right, now let's do a pattern with both strings, both strings. Let's start on the D string, and then I'll go to the A string. all half notes D D A A one two ready and go good let's do the same pattern with quarter notes 
D, D, A, A. One, two, ready and go. Again, ready and here you go. Now let's play A, A, D, D. One and two and three and go. Back to D string, let's do this with eighth notes. D, 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 A, 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 half bow, ready, and here we go. One more time, ready, here you go. Start on the A string, ready, and go. Time, ready, here we go. Very good. I'm going to show you one last thing before I let you go. Another point that's important to remember when you're bowing is to keep the bow moving from your elbow and not from your arm. Listen to the difference in the sound. Here's the elbow. Here's from the arm. With the arm, you hear the sound at first, but if you pull your arm back, you start to lose sound when you get to the upper half of the bow because it's not straight, right? It's at this crooked angle, and we don't make much sound at all out there. So you have to make sure that you're bowing from your elbow. Basses will use a little bit of arm motion. Cellists, it's still more from the elbow, but basses move a little bit from their arm, but they still have to make sure that they are keeping a straight bow angle and not letting it go crooked, okay? So look for that. Let's try whole notes on open A string, and make sure you're bowing from your elbow, everybody, except for basses, a little bit of the arm. Whole notes, open A. One, two, three, and go. Mm -hmm. Dotted half notes now, three beats each. Keep an eye on that elbow. Stay nice and relaxed. One, Two, open A, go. Half notes ready, and here you go. Four quarter notes, watch your elbow go. Now eight eighth notes. One, and two, and three, and go. Very nice. I hope you got something out of today's lesson. Go ahead and give that some practice this week. You can rewind as much as you need to. And I hope you all stay safe and have a good rest of your week. Bye-bye. Hello, Silver Strings One. This is Mr. Wyatt. This week, we're going to work on Defenders of Earth. So if you'll turn in your books to page 20, which in exercise 2.41, Defenders of Earth. Today, with a practice session with me, we're going to practice clapping through the piece. And I'm going to work with each section on, uh, on their portion. Um, so violins, remember you're playing the A line. Violas, you're playing the B line. And cellos and basses, you're playing the C line. So A, violins. B, violas. C, cello and basses. Remember that when you're reading through this piece, once you finish the end of your line, don't jump down to the next line that says B, or don't jump down to the next line that says C, or whatever it is, unless you're playing that part. Be sure that you're following just the A line, or just the B line, or just the C line. Because the, <clears throat> the A line and the B line, or the A line and the C line, are written right above each other. So when you're having to go, go all the way through the A line, and then jump down to the next A line that's down here, and skip the B or the C line that's there. Or if you're playing viola, when you finish playing the B line, skip the A line that's right below it and go down to the next B line that's written, written there. All right, so I hope you've gotten your books out now. We're going to clap through the, the uh, exercise first.
and then we're going to pluck our way through it and then bow our way through it. Everybody has the same rhythm, so we're going to do the first one, two, three, four, five measures together first, clapping it. Here we go. Be sure that when you rest, pull your hands apart. One, two, three, ready, set, go. One, two, three. 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 That was the first five measures. Let's clap it again. First five measures. One, ready, go. One, two, three. 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 Great work. I'm going to move my recording device over. We're going to do the last bit. Remember that in, starting in measure six, that is the measure before the first ending. You're going to play that each time, but the first time through, you're only going to play the first ending. When you repeat back to the beginning, you play through measure six, and the set next time, instead of playing the measures that are underneath one, you're going to play the measures that are underneath the two box, the second ending. So let's practice clapping measure six and then going through the end of the to the end of the first ending and then stop. Okay, so measure six, one, ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Stop there. All right, this time let's clap measure six, but skip the first ending, just skip the two measures that are underneath the first ending, and go to the second ending. Let's do it. Measure six to the second ending. One, ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three rest. You notice it's the same me same rhythms in measure in the, the measures in the first ending and the measures in the second ending. It's just different notes. Let's practice plucking what we just did. All right. I'm going to pluck the A line this time. Cellos and basses and violas, I'm going to be coming to you uh, plucking along with your uh, your part um, in a second, but why don't you go ahead and pluck along while I'm playing the, vi the violin part. So we're going to do the first five measures. We're going to do it three times. And I'm going to play the A line the first time, the B line the second time, and the C line the third time. All right? So here we go. First five measures. This is me on the A line, everybody, but everybody pluck. One, ready, go. Rest. 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 Okay, stop there. That was the first five measures. Now we're going to do the first five measures again. I'm going to pluck the B line. Everybody pluck along though. One, two, three, ready, set, go. Rest. 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 Great work, you guys. Now we're going to do the first five measures again. This time I'm going to pluck the C line. One, ready, go. How'd you do? Hopefully pretty good. Let's move on to the sixth measure. We're gonna try the sixth measure with the first ending, with the A line. Sixth measure with the first ending, the B line. Sixth measure, the first ending with the C line. Each time we play through it, everybody needs to play your own part, but be, know that I'm playing along with a different part each time we go through. So sixth measure and first ending. Everybody play. This is me, me on the A line. One, ready, go. Two, rest. Sixth measure and the first ending. This is me on the B line. One, ready, go. Two, rest. Six, measure, first ending, me on the C line. One, ready, go. All right, let's do the same thing. Sixth measure. And then we're going to go on to the second ending. First time I'll play the A line. Second time I'll play the B line. 
third time I'll play the C line, but everybody play on your own parts each time. Six measure, second ending. One, ready, go. One, two, rest. Six measure, second ending. I'm on the B line this time. One, ready, go. Three. Sixth measure, second ending, I'm on the C line. One, ready, go. Two, three. Great work, you guys. Let's add in a bow. First five measures, we're going to play it three times. I'm going to play the A line first, B line second, C line third. First five measures. One, two, three, ready, set, start. I'm going to play the B line. Anytime we have a rest, let's breathe in with each other through our noses. It doesn't have to be a big snort, but you can try that. Let's breathe together on the rest so we play them together. B line, me on the B line. First five measures. One, ready, go. Violas on the B line, be ready for that string crossing when it happens, okay? Everybody on this, uh, playing along, this is me on the C line. Be sure to breathe on the wrists. One, ready, go. How'd that do? Good. Let's try um, the second ending, or the sixth measure to the first ending three times. I'm going to play A, B, C. Then we're going to do the sixth ending to the second, or sixth measure to the second ending three times A, B, C. Remember that even if you don't play A, B, or C, uh, you still play along with us on your part, okay? Six measure, first ending. One, ready, go. Rest. All right, let's try, the, let's try it again. I'm on the B line this time. Six measure, second ending. One, ready, go. Mr. Wyatt's messed up. I haven't didn't start the sixth measure on an up bow. Let's make sure that we're all starting that on an up bow. I'm on the C line this time. One, ready, go. That was me playing the A line. So let me try it again on the C line. One, two, three, starts with an up blow. So let's do that same thing, and what we're going to do this time is we're going to play the sixth measure, and we're going to go to the second ending. When we play through the whole piece, you repeat back to the beginning, and when you get to the sixth measure, remember to go either to the first ending or the second ending. So that's why we're practicing it this way. Sixth measure, second ending. One, ready, A line, on me on A line, ready, go. What did I not do? Started on an up bow. So let's start on an up bow. One, ready, go. Great work. Let's do that again. Sixth measure, second ending, B line. Start on an up bow. One, ready, go. All right, same thing. Sixth measure. Second ending, I'm on the C line. One, ready, go. Remember to use a good bow hole and that you want to feel the hairs of your bow getting some resistance in the string so you get a nice big and round sound. All right, you guys, 
I hope that was helpful, and we'll continue working with you guys in the next coming weeks to prepare you uh, to be able to play this piece.